have the honor and the privilege of being Hannah's maid of honor. I would like to start off by saying congratulations to both Hannah and Peter. Your big day is finally here, and I would like to thank you for letting me be a part of it. So I first met Hannah back in ninth grade PE class. We were the two girls who would walk instead of run, talk instead of pay attention to the game, and who were constantly called out for our lack of participation in class. We bonded during these gym class talks and soon became great friends. As our friendship grew throughout high school and into college, Hannah was always by my side. We joined the same sorority and not only became sorority sisters, but eventually more like real sisters. I could honestly not ask for anything more than a friend. Within all the memories we made and the times we spent together, we shared laughter and tears and our hopes and our fears. We also shared advice about boys, however, Hannah didn't need much advice when it came to Peter. When you are friends with someone, you want them to meet and marry someone who would truly make them happy. When Hannah met Peter, it was very obvious that he was going to be that guy. To quote a famous love story, the best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more that plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. You both have found this love, and my wish for you is that it lasts a lifetime. I know you two have a wonderful adventure ahead of you. As you sit side by side through this roller coaster of a life, remember to scream from the peaks, hold hands through the dips, laugh through the loops, and enjoy every twist and turn, for the ride is better because you share it together. So let's raise our glasses, and cheers to Hannah and Peter, and a lifetime of happiness. Jenna just totally slow played me. I mean. I'm freaking out. Let me go first. Yeah. <laughs> um, thanks. Thanks. So uh, hopefully this goes better than the engagement party. Uh, <laughs> made a mess of that one. Um, so for those of you, I'm, I'm uh, Andrew, uh, Peter's twin brother. Uh, better looking one, obviously. And uh, for those of you uh, who know Peter, especially after last night, uh, you know that you can be a little crazy, right? So um, after uh, after college, Peter was, you know, being Peter. And uh, I think I can speak for everybody in the family that we're all like, I think Peter needs to grow up a little bit, mature a little bit. He's a little hard-headed, so we knew it would be, you know, have to be something drastic to get him to change. And um, but that's exactly when he met Hannah, and that's exactly what happened. He met someone that drastically changed his life for the better. Um, Hannah, strong, responsible, beautiful girl, um, was able to make Peter a better friend, a better brother, and a better person. And I'll always be eternally grateful for you, Hannah. Um, <laughs> so I don't know where he would have ended up without you. <laughs> but, um, so obviously, although he's crazy, he's still my twin brother, right? And uh, a question that I've gotten my entire life is, how, how great is it to be a twin? What's it like to be a twin? And my usual response is, well, it's not that great when your twin brother Shrek. <laughs> Leading up to the wedding, I'm thinking about, all right, what am I going to say? And um, all I can think about is, what is it like to be a twin? And, you know, what is it like to be Peter's twin? And um, it honestly has been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life, right? I didn't have a choice. <laughs> that's for sure. But um, it, it truly is a blessing. Uh, through thick and thin, I've always had a best friend. I've always had someone there to uh, support me. Uh, to love me, definitely to protect me. Uh, I was never alone, and um, your your passion and uh, love for me never never wavered. And and Hannah, what I can tell you is it'll be the same for you. You made a great choice in Peter. Um, completely blessed to have him as my twin brother. Um, couldn't ask for a better twin brother in the world. And I can tell you, you couldn't have picked a better husband. Um, I love you guys both. 
you mean the world to me. Welcome to the family, Hannah. Um, cheers. Cheers. We got out of D.C. Memorial Day weekend about 4 o'clock in the morning. All I saw was red lights down the road. And that was just tail lights moving. I said, good gracious. Well, he's in the truck. I'm behind Hannah. And here I am driving his car. And then he takes this exit. Now this exit didn't say McDonald's, didn't say BP, or didn't say SO or Exxon, didn't say Bojangles. He just said exit. <laughs> And we took this exit and we drove, really, about two miles. And I said, what in the world is he doing? And we drove and drove and drove. And I looked to the left, looked to the right, nothing but woods. And finally, I looked to the left, and there's a convenience store. He does a wide U-turn in that U-Haul. I think he had to back it up one time. We pull into the parking lot, and Peter looks at me and says, we're going to get some coffee. I said, all right. We walk to this convenience store, and this convenience store didn't have a door. It was a glass plate. i never seen anything like it. And there was a little glass plate right here. And there was a man, old man, big man, sitting behind the counter. He said, can I, can I help you? And Peter said, I want two cups of coffee. Me no sell coffee. <laughs> he said, what? Me no sell coffee. So we turned around, Peter looked at me, he looked at the guy, and we were walking off. And I'm not going to tell you what Peter said under his breath of that guy. I do want you to think highly of Peter, but anyway, really, he had my back the whole time. Long story short, we did finally get the coffee, but uh, anyway, we played a lot of golf, we've done a lot of things, I, I enjoy the guy. Uh, we love him, we really do, especially now, but anyway. <laughs> But anyway, we couldn't have asked, I think, if we'd have made a blueprint of a future son-in-law, I don't think we could have come out with anything better than Peter. Peter, we love you. Hannah, sweetheart, you know, I've been with you for several years. Don't cry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we've, had, we've had a good life, right? Okay. I love you. Love both of you. Raise my glass to Hannah and Peter. Thank you so much for being a part of my life, everyone's life. And to you guys, remember this. You see them as the most two important people in the world. And right now, if we could go in their eyes and look out, they would look at us as the most important people to them. They love us, they care for us, and we love them and care for them. Thank you so much.